welcome back to another 3d log animation tutorial so in this video we are going to make this type of 3d animation in adobe after effects so before starting this tutorial if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification so now let's get start the video so in this video i'm going to use this logo so first i'm going to copy this logo from illustrator then back to after effects and here i'm going to create a new composition and rename it main and I'm going with 15 second duration, 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel as well as 30 frame rate per second. Then hit OK. After that, let's fit it to the screen. And now let's create a new solid. And I'm going to rename it to logo mask. And then as we copy the shape from Illustrator, we're going to paste in this layer. So just press Ctrl B or go to edit and paste it here. So this is our logo shape now again back to illustrator and copy this circle then back to illustrator and again create a new solid and rename it shape then hit ok and press ctrl b so this is our shape and logo here let's turn off all of them let's create another new solid rename it element 3d then hit ok now we're going to apply element 3d plugin on this so select this go to effect video copy lot then select element from here now just go to custom layers and custom task and mask for the path one select this logo mask and for path two select this shape close this now click on this and setup after that turn off this grid from here then click on extrude so our logo is here then go to tessellation and from here select path resolution extreme and again click on extrude and change this resolution to extreme also and from the custom path select custom path 2 so it will bring our circle here Let's rename it circle and rename it for logo select this logo and drag this above all of this now again click on extrude and from here select path 2 and from tessellation again select extreme and for this rename it to shape now click here then click on this bevel outline enable this outline turn off this circle for this time and also turn off the logo now select this go to bevel shape and click on this outline from outline one so we select it 19.19 and select outside depth 386 and for inside bevel select it 99 now back to this bevel change bevel is to 21.23 minus 21.83 and set it 2.23 2.73 and change bevel segment to curves change it to 0.51 we will get something like this now let's turn on this select this go to scale and let's increase it something like this let's adjust it now select this shape go to presets and from here select the dark shape and apply it to here sorry apply it in the circle then go to textures and let's apply this texture to there so i'm going to drag this of course you can download all of them from the link in video description so select this and drag this to normal bump and select this drop this to diffuse and drop this to glossiness now select the shape then go to materials physics and apply this chrome material to here click here change reflectivity to something like this hit ok so now select the shape then go to pro shader 2 and select metal let's apply something like this kind of metal here okay i think this is good now let's turn on the logo select this go to scale let's down the scale a little bit and let's adjust it so i think this is okay now now select this go to bevel copies and make this to copy select this bevel 2 and go here 
let's increase its size 0.65 and select this let's decrease its size to 0.45 select this and let's make it something like this okay now let's apply material to this bevels so i'm going to apply this to here and then apply this to here okay i think this is okay now select this then go to bevel outline and from here change its curve to something like this now let's create a new plane select this go to orientation and make it negative 90 percent and change its size to 50 by 50 and let's adjust it okay now go to materials and apply black glows to here now select this go to reflection mode and make it to mirror surface also select this shape and go to reflection make it spherical and for this circle make it mirror surface and for the logo make it to spherical now from here change this light to dramatic and make it something like 93 then go to environment go to basic token and select this basic token 14 now this is our 3d logo now just click on ok now let's create a new flare for this i'm going to create new solid and rename it to flare hit ok now select this go to effect and preset and search for lens flare apply it from here change it to 105 mm prime press f4 to get this mode option and make it to the screen and let's drag this to this area and make brightness to something like this okay 37 it goes i think now let's create a new camera for this let's again press f4 and make it 3d now let's create a new camera and now let's import our audio to the timeline so that we can animate according to our audio so i'm going to drag and import this audio to after effects and then let's drag it to the timeline press double l to see the waveframe okay go to this point select the camera then change this camera to something like this let's zoom it press p and shift a then create a keyframe back to the first frame let's move it to something like this point and let's make it little bit smaller like this select this flare let's drag this to something like this point now select this press ctrl shift d to duplicate this camera here press u to open keyframes let's delete all of them and now let's drag this and make it something like this now go to this point and drag this to here zoom it little bit create a keyframe then back to this point and let's drag it to something like this let's zoom out now select this again press ctrl shift d now go to this point press p and shift a create a keyframe here and delete all previous keyframes let's make it something like this for this time back to this frame and let's make it something like this so like this let's make it little different now go to this frame select this and again press ctrl shift d now close this select this last camera press u delete all of them then go to around something like this point let's rotate it and make it smaller okay now create a keyframe here back to this point and let's zoom it out on this frame go to this point then go to flare let's create a keyframe to flare brightness go forward some frame and make it 98 and again forward few frames make it 37 okay now let's drag our logo to the timeline so for that i'm going to use this logo press ctrl d and bring this to above all of them turn on this go to pre-compose and rename it to logo select move all activity into the new composition 
then I'm going to use a fill color effect here and I'm going to change its color to something like white or any color I'm going to drag this to here and I'm going to drag this to this point now select this press T create a keyframe make this opacity to 0 go to something like this point and make it 100% select all of this from here and let's decompose rename it to 3d logo select move all the all attribute into the new composition then hit ok now press t and make it zero opacity create a keyframe back to here and make it 100 percent and before that let's create a new background going to new and solid rename it bg for background and change this color to something like this and apply it to below press s and let's change its size to something like this create a keyframe back to here and make it 75 okay so now back to this and then go to camera let's turn on depth of field here so i'm going to show you the uh, for the first camera but the process is same you need to apply it to in this depth of field to all of this camera so that you can get a nice looking effect so i'm going to turn on this depth of field from here and from here i'm going to change this to something like this and blur amount 150 so you'll get something like this okay now back to this main composition and let's do some color correction for that i'm going to import some another stock footage so i'm going to import this particles and glow to the timeline and let's drop the particle to above all of them and change this mode to screen also i'm going to grab the glow and change this mode to screen also now I can also add a color correction to here. Let's go to adjustment and let's rename it to curves. Select this, go to effect and presets and search for curves. Okay, now let's see the preview. type of 3d intro video in adobe after effects so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you so much for watching i'll be back with new tutorials soon till then take care goodbye